last week I left off with just this shape here on the battery box. I've now added in a lip on the top and this triangle plate. At the moment I'm just trying to knit out the rest of the lips. So I've... Ooh, is that the right way? That's the way? So the back part here. A little bit nervous to do this one here. I just feel like that's going to be really difficult shape to produce kind of tidying up and finishing up the front here as this battery box has gone on I'm no longer copying from the original it's now kind of starting to take its own shape um, and I've been able to adjust and kind of change it bit by bit to fit rather than copying this accurately. Oh, My next set of issues is the point of contact with the battery box and the frame of the bike to get it to A stay on and also B stay on securely. At the moment all I've got is this one contact point there which was what was here originally so they're both there-ish. And then on this slip I'm going to recreate this shape here so I can have that point of contact but over obviously just having those two it's going to wobble a lot at the front. You right, dad? Hello? It should be open. As the battery box has only got two points of contact, both here and here, at the very end of the box, when I'm riding, the front bit's going to shake like crazy. So really, I'm hoping to find a way to affix it, maybe here, just a, a, just one more point of contact. Ideally, you'd have one on each corner, but I don't mind if I just find one more. On the original, what it's got is this I don't really know what the word for that is. Notch it? It's got a notch it that sits in between a rubber sealed hole which keeps it fairly snug. I don't know if I'm going to do that or if that's going to work especially with the shape I've made. The plus side of that is I've got a hole on the frame I can use. It's just I need to work out how I'm going to shape this, this metal and to be able to fit towards that and have that bolted or however I'm going to fix that, I don't know yet. I'm going to show you on the bike what I mean. So the hole that I'm referring to is that one. It's kind of sat like this on the bike. Let me just kind of shuffle this down. So it's sat there on the bike. The box sits uh, roughly around there. I can't really make it accurate right now. Now I can't point to you with my hands the hole because I'm using one for the light and one for the to hold up the battery box. The part I want to attach it to is there and as you can see it just about sticks. If I was to put a triangular plate over the top of that it would just about stick out. I'm wondering if I shave down the front. I'm wondering if I shave down the front and kind of get the lit against that. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'll work it out. So yeah, that's the latest conundrum I have. So I'm not going to put this, I'm not going to map out or put this plate down until I know for sure how I want to do that, to attach that. But I've still got this section to do and I've still got the bottom bit to do. So also take a look at my welding. I'm, <laughs> I know a lot of people are going to look at that and be like, what the fuck? But I'm, I'm actually really happy that because this is the first thing I've made. It's one thing trying to get a pre-shaped bit of metal to another bit but I've made this whole thing by myself and I'm actually kind of, in, you know, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Even if it's got pit holes and all sorts wrong with it but I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. While I ponder exactly how I'm going to get this to work I'm going to go have a burger. I'm go have a lunch break quickly and I will be back. Cut out some shapes and weld some metal. Well, that is a good ass burger. Oh. No, I do not like tomatoes. Devil fucking spawn. Okay, 
so I've had my burger. I came back and I added on this side. I messed up the little... I messed up the little hole here, the little catch I was meant to have. It's meant to look a bit more like that, but after I drilled the hole perfectly, I made the cuts in here that I just messed up. So I'm still wondering about the point of contact on this side. I haven't really figured it out. I might need another day to sleep on it, perhaps. This works, by the way, fine. It, you know, it slots in to the rubber seal, so that's fine, that works. So yeah, I just need to work out how to affix it over in this corner, sort out this kind of side out, probably shape it down a bit, because it is a little bit too big over here. And then bottom lip, and that's that done and then to make a second one for the other side, which I said I was going to get done maybe this week, but no, it's not going to get done this week. But I won't do a whole new video for that one, I'll just show you how I did this one and then be like, oh, here's the other one I made at a later date. But yeah, slowly getting there with this. What I probably will do now is work out the shape for the bottom bit, which is going to be a in the ass, I can already feel it. Can you walk away from my house, please? I don't see why you stood gathering outside my house. Oh my god. Are they gone? No, they're still there. What are you doing? Last update of the day. I managed to get this kind of bracket on decided to in the end oh bloody hell what have I done decided to put this L bracket on here so with the triangle plate over the top I'll just screw it in that way can't really see but it does have so as you can see behind there it's got a nut welded in you can see the bracket is here the plate will just go over the top and I'll be able to bolt it through picked up my bolt and everything I just need to pick out a washer Yes, had to be the last one. I just picked a random bolt from Dad's box of bolts. Crosshead, <laughs> whatever, just whack whatever we can on there for now. There we go. That just leaves me to tidy up now. <clears throat> End of the day, it's super dark outside. I don't know if you can see. Oh, you can't. lip and the triangle plate for the battery box. It's now just a case of bending them into the right shape and then welding them on. So really nearly done now. Then I just need to drill the holes for the bolts.
best I can get that one to go without bending it too much and kind of like wrecking the stability of the metal. I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to, it needs to be quite tense to hold in place. So I don't really know, maybe if I just kind of sellotape the ends and tack weld. I'm not sure about that one. Yeah. Uh, let's try this one though. Okay, so I've now taken out the bits I need. I'm just gonna weld it on quickly. Just welded on those two other bits. I've grinded as I went really, but there's a few more pit holes I need to kind of sort out. And then the plate here as well. But nearly done, nearly, nearly done, right. <laughs> Right, we're all welded on. All I need to do now is to quickly drill some holes. All right, I'm a little bit worried about um, drilling this specific hole just because the metal's bent, so I'm clamping it down here, but there's nothing holding this here. So I'm gonna have to hold it with my hand. And I mean, it should be fine, to be honest. I'm probably overthinking it. press the record button while I was drilling that hole. Fine, so I need to go up another, go up another.
there's something wrong with the circuits inside. Yeah, definitely something wrong with the circuit inside. Uh, where is my screw? Yeah, that's the right size. Right, let's see if this fits nicely in there. Ding. Oh, look at that! I'm so happy with that! <laughs> oh, cool, right, okay. Um, last thing I really need to do is find out where that hole's gonna go. Okay, second hole in. Let's hope that this works. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Let's go have a look, see. So my video cut out halfway through doing that, but I'm sad to say that it doesn't actually fit. I think it's fixable, just need to redo the holes and I think this sticks out maybe a little bit too much, I'm not quite sure. I was probably being a bit too hasty to be honest, I've got somewhere I need to be tonight so I was just going fast as I can rather than being careful about it. Watch out for video free of the battery box. Ugh.